Hi guys, so today I'm going to share with you my favorites for the month of July. And I have quite a few, so I'm going to start with my beauty favorites first. And the first favorite is a foundation that I've been wearing all month long, maybe a little bit of last month as well. And um, it's the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Advanced Makeup, and it has SPF 20. And the color I'm in is a Sun Beige 615. And I'm usually a caramel beige in the summer, but I've just been using a darker powder to kind of blend this into my skin a little bit better. But I really, really like this because I walk on a hot campus all day and it is so hot and I'm sweating sometimes, but this is really, really held up nicely on my skin. Um, and even my bronzer and blush usually seems to hold up a lot better when I use that foundation. I definitely like it a lot more than the Boots Number no. 7 Stay Perfect foundation that I did a review on. And um, this I gave like a 4 out of 5, but honestly, now that I've tried that, I give um, this more of like a 3 out of 5, and I'll give this like a 5 out of 5, because um, this is a really, really awesome foundation. It doesn't dry out your skin. It's really, really lightweight. I have it on right now, and I can barely feel it. It's, it's really, really nice, and um, it's actually kind of moisturizing as well. But um, if you haven't tried this yet, you should totally try it out. It's not really a new foundation. It's been out for a while. I actually had this in my um, makeup drawer for a while, but I decided to kind of try it, I guess. So I've been loving it. My next favorite is by Maybelline, and it's the Instant Age, Re Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I totally read that wrong. Instant Age Rewind Eraser. Why do people call it Dark Circle Eraser? <laughs> okay, whatever. So, I have this in a medium. And, um, I love, love, love the concealer, but I hate the packaging for some reason. Mine is, like, broken. If you can see, there's, like, some stuck in between, like, the little twisty deal. I don't know. But, it's like, every time I see somebody on YouTube using this, theirs seems to just glide on all creamy and stuff. And mine, I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like something is wrong with this one. So, I might just have to pick up another one. But I really, really like the formula of this um, concealer. And I actually have that on today as well. So, um, my next favorite is an eyeshadow. Um, it's a color tattoo, actually. And it's uh, Bad to the Bronze. And I've actually been wearing this all month long. Um, I usually just put a little bit of it in all my lids, and then I'll kind of blend it up a little bit and then do a matte brow. And um, it's a really, really easy way to make it look like you actually put some effort into doing your eye makeup for the day. So I've definitely been cheating all month. And if you haven't tried this color tattoo yet, you really need to. I kind of held out on this one for a long time because... I noticed I wasn't using my um, Tough as Taupe color tattoo that often, so I figured if I bought this one, I probably wouldn't use it either, but I am hooked. It's really, really nice, even as just like an eyeshadow base. It's so gorgeous. So, my next favorites are lip products, and I'm usually not so much into lip products, but I guess this month is just different. So, um, my first favorites are the Jordana Easy Shines, and this one is in Fresh Melon, and if you've seen my favorite nudes video, this is one of my favorite nudes, and I actually have this on today as well. Um, the thing I like about these are that they're pigmented and they're very moisturizing, and I know a lot of products claim to be pigmented and moisturizing, but this is like just as moisturizing as a chapstick and just as pigmented as a I wouldn't say a lipstick but kind of like a lip butter but if ever if anybody's noticed the lip butters aren't really like lip butters they're like lipsticks okay so my next favorite and lip product is the Revlon Colorverse Lip Butter in Lollipop and this is a really, really nice color. If you watched my favorite nudes video, I had this on. And this is so freaking pretty. It's, um, it's really like a nice pop of color if you're wearing nude makeup. And I actually wore this for a speech that I was doing in my public speaking class. 
and um, I got a lot of compliments on it. And this is the lip liner that I've been pairing with it. And it's by NYX. It's called Purple Rain. So, really, really, really been enjoying this because I usually stick to a nude every day, but it really, really was nice to kind of switch it up. So, um, not something I would wear every day, but something like on a special day. Um, another favorite of mine is actually a lip balm, and it's by EOS. And this is the Summer Fruit flavor, I guess. I don't know if you can call it a flavor because you don't really eat it, but scent. Oh my god. This, it smells so good. It smells like fruit and summer. So it's like, I don't know. They're genius. Okay, so my next favorite is by Carmex. And I've been using Carmex for a very, very long time, even in high school and middle school. And I used to use the little tubies, but my dog would get them and bite them and stuff like that, so it would get all over the place. But um, I like these little roll tubes. And this one is actually just as moisturizing as the squeezy tube. Don't y'all love my lingo? Squeezy tube and rolly tube. Okay, this is not even a tube. This is like a, um, a roll-on. Whatever. So this is the Carmex Lime Twist. And as you can see, it doesn't look like the other roll-ons. They usually look a little bit whiter, but this one looks just like the um, the stuff that comes out of the tube, I guess. But I really, really like this because it smells like lime sorbet. And, oh my goodness, it's so refreshing. And it has SPF 15, which is good. So um, if you just want a regular old lip balm or chapstick or whatever or something with like a nice little twist, this is definitely something you should try. They have it at Walgreens and Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. But um, this is definitely something that's guy friendly as well. Um, if your boyfriend is looking for a new chapstick, I guess, um, <laughs> definitely get him to try it out. So my next favorite is actually a brush and it's by Soho. And this brush is like an angled bronzing brush, and you've probably seen me use it in quite a few videos, maybe even all of them except for the first videos I did in May. So um, this is really, really, really nice for doing a chiseled contour, like a really, really nice defined contour, or if you want to do like a nice buffed out um, bronze, this works really well for either one. So I would definitely advise you pick up this brush. It is on the pricier side of drugstore brushes because it's like 14 bucks if I'm not mistaken, but it is so worth it. Um, I've washed it a few times. It hasn't really shed much and I really, really, really like it. So um, the only problem is it's really, really tall. So if I put it in one of my brush cases, it sticks out at the top. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I would definitely try this brush out. So, my next favorites are actually skincare products. And the first one is Bio Oil. And if you saw my mini haul, this was actually an item that I hauled. And I've really, really been liking this. Because it's kind of lightweight. I really was kind of afraid when I saw that, um, I don't know, it's just the thought of an oil on your skin kind of makes you think oily skin. But it's really not bad at all. You actually use like two drops and just kind of work it all over your face and it really dissolves nicely. So um, I used to use it day and night, but I kind of shifted toward using it more at night. And during the day, I'll use something like my... um. SPF lotions or stuff like that so um, so I can just kind of better protect my skin but um, I've really been liking this a lot the scent is not something that everybody would like but um, it's kind of like a medicated smell and I really really like it though so um, I don't know this is not for everyone everybody will not like it and it may not be for everyone's skin but um, I don't know, it's really worth a try, honestly. So, um, this is what it is. It's pure psyllin oil, and it contains the breakthrough ingredient. I do not know what that ingredient is, but it's obviously in there. 
So my next favorite is a face wash, and it's the oil-free acne wash. It's actually like a scrub. Um, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see the little beads, but there's like little scrub beads in there. And um, it's called a Redness Gentle Soothing Scrub or whatever. It's supposed to help with redness, but I honestly doesn't think, I honestly doesn't think, oh my god. <laughs> I honestly don't think it helps with redness at all. It's just a nice scrub though. So I mean, I have redness right here and on my lids and that's the first places that I would check to see if it really helped and it hasn't helped at all with redness but I mean it did help with my acne and you can use this every day because it's not that harsh of a scrub so um, I've been using it every day mostly at night though because in the morning I usually just use my morning burst um, to wake me up I guess but um, this is really really nice so um, if you're looking for a nice scrub, then pick this up. It has salicylic acid in it, so it does help control the acne. And um, I've definitely been seeing a difference in my skin. So um, when I don't use this, I notice that like my skin does not feel right. So if you want to check this out, you can find it at Target. And I believe at Target they had it on sale for like $4.88. But I think that might be because they're not going to carry it any longer. So... I don't know, but I don't really see any ingredient differences on this one and the Acne Stress Control Scrub, and that one is like an orange tube or something with like a little silver line on it or whatever. I don't know. I really didn't see a difference, but this one just has like a nicer smell. It's really like a gentle smell. It's like aloe vera and chamomile. So, um, yeah, definitely check it out. And my next favorites are hair products. So the first hair product, I've actually seen this one on ALH Sanders YouTube channel. And um, her name's Ashley. And she used this to kind of like fluff up her hair, kind of like add some volume. And I really thought it was kind of cool, like a powder. So um, I really try to do anything I can do to not tease my hair, but sometimes that's just my last resort. But I have been dodging my teasing comb with this stuff because it really does work. And um, the way you use it is you just put some in your hand and it's like a weird powdery consistency and then you rub it together and then it gets kind of sticky and then you put it like in your roots and just kind of rub it in. And um, it, it's so weird. I really don't know. It's like magic dust, honestly, because this stuff is just so cool. But um, if you can find this at your Walmart, I got it for like four something. I don't know, like four dollars and some change. But this is a really, really nice um, alternative to teasing your hair all the time. So um, definitely love that. Oh, and it's called Got to Be Powderful. So, um, and there's another one by Got To Be, but I don't think it's the volumizing one. It's like maybe like a texturizer or whatever. Okay, so my next two favorites are by Suave, and these are some little hair products that I decided to try out. They were both like two ninety something at Walmart, so they were super inexpensive. So I figured if I don't like them, I mean, I didn't really spend too much on them. But I surprisingly love these things. So, um... First, I'm going to talk about this dry shampoo. Oh my gosh. So volumizing. It has a nice, cool, tingling feeling when you spray it on. The smell is amazing. It reminds me of that EOS lip balm that I just talked about with the, uh, the summer fruit scent. And oh my gosh, this stuff is so awesome. So if you ever find that your hair is getting super greasy really fast, like grab some of this stuff. It's only like $2.90 something at my Walmart. So um, it might differ like maybe a dollar or so wherever you live, but this is some awesome dry shampoo. So, um, and even if you just need a little bit of volume, you know, I find that this works for that. But um, I used to use the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion dry shampoo, but um, as you can see, there's, there is some left. <laughs> but see, this is my main problem with this one. Um, first of all, I thought I was all out of it 
Um, I didn't want to waste it, honestly. I didn't like the scent too much. It has the same feeling as this dry shampoo, but this one just has, um, I don't know. The scent is not something that you're going to love forever. I loved it when I first bought it, but after a while I was like, I so smell like Tresemme. And, um, yeah, now I can smell it. Okay, so yeah, but I picked this up just so I can replace this and um, definitely like this one a lot better. So if you can find this at your Walmart, definitely try it out. And my next favorite by Suave is a hairspray. It's called the Touchable Finish Hairspray and I have it in extra hold. And this scent is not the exact same as the dry shampoo. It's actually more of like a berry scent. Um, it has a little bit more of a strawberry kind of scent to it, but I really, really like it because it dries super fast, and um, this is that's really good for like when you're curling your hair and you want your curls to kind of hold, so you just kind of freeze it with the hairspray, and um, it does have that, you know, flexibility to it to where it doesn't give you um, a super crunchy hairdo or your hair is not like stick straight, and um, why is my hair doing this right now? Okay. It's really good for um, baby hairs, and I find that this is a lot like the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Stay. And my next favorites are by Aussie, and I actually used to use this in, um, I can't say in high school, maybe in like my freshman year of college. So um, I'm a senior now, but... Um, Yay me. I had to say that. I'm such a bragger. No, but I used to use these shampoos, well, shampoo and conditioner. Well, conditioner and shampoo. Um, I went through a phase where I was buying these really expensive shampoos that weren't really doing anything for my hair. Um, I even tried a couple of sulfate-free shampoos, like drugstore ones, and I mean, they they were kind of crappy, honestly. And the shampoo does the job. It cleans really nicely. It moisturizes. And um, it leaves your hair nice and kind of fluffy. So um, I've really been enjoying that. And I definitely regret buying all those expensive shampoos that didn't really do anything for my hair. And my next favorite is by um, Bath & Body Works. And it's the Passion Flower Candle. And you can tell I've burned it down a good bit. And this is just the one stem because I couldn't find any three stems in my store. But um, I have another one back there. I don't know if you can see it. It's, uh, it's by my TV. And um, I'll burn two of them, one on one side of the room and one on the other side of the room. Because, um, I don't know, I like the scent so much, but it smells so much like fruit roll-up. Oh my god. So my favorite song for this month is Titanium by David Guetta featuring Sia. And um, it's a super cool like superhero sounding song. So if you haven't heard it, definitely listen to it. Okay, so those are all of my favorites for this month. If you like anything that I have not mentioned in this video, just leave a comment below and let me know with your fav what your favorite song were um, or send me a link to your favorite video if you have one and um, I'll check it out so thanks for watching and please subscribe and comment and um, feel free to interact because I love interacting with you guys and um, I hope you had a great month of July and I'll see you guys in my next video